Hi, good day everyone. Today I'm going to discuss vector analysis. This is the outline of this lecture video. First is we have the fundamentals of scalar and vector quantities. Next is the notation of a vector. And the last one is vector operation. Physical phenomena can be discussed concisely and elegantly through the use of vector methods. Take note, physical quantity can be classified into two. We have the vector and the scalar quantity. What is the difference between these two? Scalar quantity is, is a quantity that can only be described by a magnitude, while vector quantity it is a quantity that has magnitude and direction. Here are some examples of scalar and vector quantities. First, for scalar, we have this distance say the distance of 5 meters, the speed of 30 meters per second, the mass of 50 kilograms, and temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. Notice for scalar quantity, it only gives the magnitude of that said quantity. For vector quantity, we have say displacement. The displacement has a magnitude in the direction. It has a magnitude of 5 meters and the direction is to the left where velocity velocity is also a vector say minus 30 meters per second the magnitude is 30 meters per second while the direction is the negative sign the negative sign means uh, the direction of this vector is going to the left or going downward say for example another example is acceleration say minus 9.8 meter per second square, the magnitude is 9.8 and the direction is to minus sign. For force, we have the magnitude of 45 newton and the direction is i hat, where i hat is called the unit vector. I will discuss this unit vector later. How are we going to write a vector? There are two ways. First, is you can write a vector in bold letters say bold letter a b c d and so on another way is to write a vector with an arrow say we have any letter as long as there is an arrow above it then it is one of the notation of a vector how to draw a vector so how will you represent a vector, say, in a Cartesian plane. It can be represented by an arrow. Say, for example, in XY plane, a vector can be drawn using an arrow. Say, for example, this one, this arrow here is a vector, and I call that one as vector B. Another arrow, I call this one as vector B. Another arrow, I call this one as vector C. We have to take note that vector is a quantity that has magnitude and direction. So basically, we can describe a vector if there is a magnitude and there is a direction of that vector. So based from this figure, how are we going to solve for the magnitude of A, for example? How are we going to calculate the magnitude of B, the magnitude of C? And also, how are we going to find the direction of a vector? Suppose we consider only this vector A. Say, for example, we have this vector A, which is in the first quadrant, and it makes an angle theta from the positive x-axis as shown. Question is, you only need to find the magnitude of A, in the direction of A. So, how to solve or what is the magnitude of A and what is the direction of A? For the magnitude, we have the notation of a magnitude is the absolute value of that vector. Say, for example, I have vector A, then the notation for the magnitude of the vector A is just the absolute value of that vector. And the magnitude of A is just the length of this arrow. So you measure the length of this arrow, you will get the magnitude of this vector. And magnitude is always a positive number. For the direction, the direction of this vector can be represented by this angle theta. 
Okay? So, this theta is the direction of our A. Or, you can use the north, south, east, west direction. You can also write left, right, upward and downward. Or, you can write the direction as positive and negative signs. So, by convention, positive means to the right, negative means to the left, or positive means upward, negative means downward. Or you can represent the direction of a vector using unit vectors i hat, j hat, and k hat. Again, I will discuss this one later. Say for example, I have this vector a, which is in the first quadrant, and it has a component x of 4 meters, y of 4 meters also as shown in this figure. Question is, what is the, the magnitude of A and what is the direction of A? This is very simple. Notice this form a right triangle. And when we say right triangle, we can use the theorem called Pythagorean theorem to solve for the hypotenuse of a right triangle. And take note, the hypotenuse the length of this one is just the magnitude of our vector A. So using Pythagorean theorem, and this is Pythagorean theorem, C is equal to square root of A square plus B square, where C here, this one, C here, or the hypotenuse is just the magnitude of A, and A and B, A is 4 meters, B is also 4 meters. So that using Pythagorean theorem, you can solve for the magnitude of A, which is equal to 4 square root of 2 meters. And this is now the magnitude of our vector A. How about the direction? The direction can be solved using the Sokotowa. I will use Towa. It means that tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. So we have this theta. The tangent theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent which is equal to 4 meters over 4 meters and using and solve for theta rather theta is equal to tangent inverse of the opposite which is equal to 4 meters and then over adjacent which is equal to 4 meters and tangent of tangent inverse of 4, 4 over 4 or 1 tangent inverse of 1 is equal to 45 degrees so therefore the theta here is equal to 45 degrees so the magnitude is 4 square root of 2 meters, or the, the, the length of this arrow is 4 square root of 2 meters, and the direction of the theta is equal to 445 degrees. Very simple. Let's now go to vector operations. There are two operations. We have vector addition and vector multiplication. For vector addition, we have graphical and analytical method. And for vector multiplication, there are three. Scalar multiplication, dot product, and the cross product. So, let's go to vector addition. Take note, when adding vectors, their directions must be taken into account. Units must be the same. There are two methods. In adding vectors, we have graphical methods and analytical methods. Under the graphical method, we have this polygon and parallelogram method. So, let's first discuss graphical methods. There are two. As I said, there are two methods under graphical methods, the polygon and the parallelogram method. So for polygon method, first, here are the steps. First is, you have to draw first vector A, say for example, in a Cartesian plane. Draw first vector A with the appropriate length and in the direction specified with respect to a coordinate system. And then next, Draw the next vector B with the appropriate length and in the direction specified with respect to a coordinate system whose origin is the, is the end of vector A and parallel to the coordinate system used for A. So we call this one as tip to tail method. And then the resultant is drawn from the origin of A to the end of the last vector B. So this is basically the Using polygon method, this is basically the, this is vector A plus vector 
D. Using polygon method. So when you have many vectors, just keep repeating the process until all are included and the resultant is still drawn from the origin of the first vector to the end of the last vector. So basically, A plus B plus C plus D is just this resultant vector R. And that is for polygon method. Next is for parallelogram method. Here are the steps. First is draw the first vector A. This is my vector A. With the appropriate length and in the direction specified with respect to a coordinate system. And then next is draw the vector B with the appropriate length and in the direction specified with respect to the same coordinate system. And then you have to draw a parallelogram. Just like this. And the resultant is drawn as a diagonal from the origin. So basically, the resultant or the A plus B is the diagonal is drawn as a diagonal from the origin. So this is basically my A plus my A plus B using parallelogram method. So that's the end of the part one of this lecture. For my next video, we will continue our discussion on vector addition using analytical methods and vector multiplication. Thank you and God bless.